So, yeah, most people are shit and unworthy of you. If this, uh, you know, like, remember, like, does any, does any, okay, one in the chat, if you have watched World War II in color on Netflix and or the History Channel, I've watched World War II in color so much. I love World War II history, right? And I love studying the history of the Nazis because for me, it was just like so psychotic i'm like what do you mean you're putting people in ovens like you know i like that and i like studying um you know japan's i went because i've been to pearl harbor i've been to hiroshima and i've been in nagasaki right i've been all been all three completed the tour bought my rolex in roll in in nagasaki that was stolen um but it's okay because i'm gonna be fucking even richer thanks to that piece of shit um so anyways that being said um This whole global situation, because like when I would watch these, thank you, Lou, when I would watch these, these Nazi documentaries, I'm like, how did these people become Nazis? How? how? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's clear. Like, what do you mean people had to wear yellow stars? Like the Jews had to wear yellow stars? And like, what do you mean people just went along with it? And now I see what's happening with the fucking mask patrol the fucking this, all of that. And I'm just like, holy shit, no wonder the elites want to kill us all. Like, no fucking wonder. Remember at the beginning of the shit, people were fist fighting in the streets and the and Walmart for toilet paper. And then, remember when uh, in the summer, right, they had all the BLM marches and shit? And like, oh, all of a sudden, like, no, it's cool, like, Totally cool. Like, Rona just stopped existing for this time. These riots are totally okay. Not politically motivated whatsoever. And I just, like, like I just saw, like, bro, most of these people are fucking shit. Most of these people are unworthy of me. And and the history of my life has, has proven that over and over and over again. You know, I'm I'm a really good person in real life. If you had the, the actual, like, privilege of meeting me okay i actually wrote this down the other day when i went to a meditation you guys camp. don't donate a hundred dollars right Thank now you. you're a beta male you're a cuck <clears throat> you're blue pill for life <laughs> you better yeah, send me a thousand dollars in donation right now thank you hey, that's a five dollars says if you like world war ii history look up tick youtube channel for the best historian breakdowns of it all it's all about oil he loves orwell yeah so um you know i'm, I'm like a i'm like a really good person in real life like, I know, like, you guys, like, may think I'm, like, maybe come off as an asshole or condescending or whatever. But, like, behind the scenes, like, you get to sit down and have a dinner with me. You're going to see, like, damn, this guy really is, like, a good person. And one of my flaws, and I'm working on it, right, is as a good person, I just inherently believe, like, oh, the people I'm interacting with are not pieces of shit. Because I'm not a piece of shit. Like, oh, I bought this person lunch. They will buy me lunch one day. I taught this person some business stuff. They'll teach me business someday. I've helped this person make half a million dollars. They will value me. They will not fucking take, uh, you know, they will not like uh, abuse the relationship or whatever. And I was wrong. And what I've realized is like most people are shit. And most people are unworthy of you. Now, that doesn't, um, I love you too, Simon. That doesn't mean that you should like go through life, be jaded and like change and being like a, a piece of garbage. Cause I'll never stop being a good person. I am a good person. I'm a good man. I'm a generous man. I'm a kind man. And I do that with strength. Right. And just because other people are pieces of shit, I'm not going to change myself to be a piece of shit like them. However, what I've learned to do now is like be more guarded to see like, you know, like through the people, like, All right, are you worthy of my fucking greatness? Are you fucking worthy? I'm going to test you. And uh, it's just, it is what it is, man. You got to protect yourself. Um, hold on, let me, I'm going to read something. I'll show you something I have. This ties into another lesson in today's thing. I'm going to grab it right now. You like these Louis Vuitton sweats I got on? Who boy, I like them. 
I am legitimately wearing like over three thousand dollars worth of clothing because it's my birthday. No, 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 not three thousand. This hoodie was like nine nine hundred. The hat was six hundred. So that's fifteen, and the sweats are a thousand. So nine hundred. What did I say? Nine hundred hoodie, five hundred, fourteen hundred, and then pants were eleven hundred. Twenty five hundred. More than twenty five hundred dollars worth of clothes. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so um, I went to like a meditation retreat recently. And then I wrote down like one of these things here, right? Can you read that? Let me show you what it says. It's really good stuff. This is part of my Thursday. I am more than enough. And those who do not recognize it are not worthy of the majestic value I bestow upon all living creatures who encounter my, my magnificent blessing of acknowledgement. Okay. So just because I acknowledge you, it's a fucking blessing. And I've realized that most people are shit and unworthy. They are not worthy of the fucking throne room. Not only are they not worthy of the throne, they're not, wor they're not worthy of the throne room. Okay? Pleb's gonna pleb. Normie's gonna norm. And you gotta fucking... You gotta, you gotta fucking control, alt, delete. And that program. Because the thing is this. They will... They will pull you down with them. They, they, they will take you down to the floor with them. Okay? And um, it's not good. Uh, it is not good whatsoever. These people are not worthy of you whatsoever. And if you fucking... If you fucking give yourself to these people who are unworthy of you, if they don't earn you, then it's not good. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. And the thing is, the more high value you become, I've noticed this too, right? I talked about this on Rule Zero. But the more high value you become, the more you're like, uh, excuse me, I'm burping. Um, that's the old gastritis. Old man MLD got the got the gastritis, um, <clears throat> but the more high value you become, the more like you attract shitty people as well, because you have a bigger target on you. Like this is like a huge target. This one too. Yeah. Look at this target, it's like a big target. But they, luckily, I'm up in my no pleb zone luxury high rise. 